Hi, it's Daphne Greenleaf in here, and I am so excited to be back with you guys again with another collaboration. I'm very excited about it. This time, I'm teaming up with um, This Life of Ours, and I found out about this collaboration on our Facebook group, um, YTHSC. And this one is basically um, about mealtime homeschooling or homeschooling mealtime. And so, nothing is worse <laughs> than it's time to eat and you've got kids crying and having meltdowns and there's nothing ready and you don't know what you're gonna do and you're ah and they're ah and it's like what do we do so what are we gonna eat is the question that most moms dread and get asked over and over and over and over and over and over again okay so I have a few tips that I think will help you with this and then I'll just tell you what I personally do as a mommy of five. Um, and then I also run a licensed childcare. So then I also have a few other people. So this is what I do managing lots of kids. You don't have to be as strict or structured if you have less kids, but again, I'm sharing what works for me in hopes that it helps you. So tip number one, make a menu and stick to it. Grocery shop for everything you need so you don't have to make weekly runs or daily runs. You don't have to go to the grocery store every single day. Um, have a five minute backup plan just in case. And by that I'm talking about just a simple can of organic soup and rice or breakfast for dinner um, or sandwiches, salad, fruit, um, smoothies those type things smoothies and yogurt so just have a backup just in case like oh man I actually did forget something um, that you have a backup plan tip two have a set breakfast lunch dinner and snack time but most important stick to it we can have the times we can have the plans we can have all these things but if we don't stick to it it doesn't matter so it's very important to stick to it tip three get everyone involved this is a family effort let's get everyone involved okay everyone can help prep they can help cook they can help clean up so ask for suggestions and let them feel like they have a voice or they have input into their own meals and you might um, be surprised that child that wouldn't eat those carrots before now that they're actually the ones um, washing and peeling and cutting them maybe now they'll be more willing to try it or um, you know maybe now that they've got to make ants on a log with their celery <laughs> they're gonna be more willing to to eat that celery tip number four make sure to have fun meal times are special times I still remember now as an adult and a mommy of five uh, making meals with my grandmother um, cooking with her that was a highlight of my youth just cooking with my grandmother and enjoying all of her wonderful foods so it's something about the smell of of fresh foods um, it's something about just making it together with mommy and grandma and family that has a warm feeling and it's something that um, presents and creates memories that last a lifetime so if you can take advantage of that take advantage of it so now personally for me I have a set meal time and if you think you might struggle with this use a timer by all means I'm using an alarm clock set a timer on your stove or your microwave so for me um, we have a set breakfast about eight o'clock um, we have a snack about 10 o'clock. We have lunch about 11.30. Um, and we have dinner about um, 5 o'clock. And this is a set schedule. That breakfast, snack, and lunch rarely changes. Now, the dinner sometimes will change depending on what the afternoon activities look like. But that morning, those things are not changing at all. To go along with that, I have a set menu. I will um, show you guys a picture here. Okay, every single week, the kids know, like it's just no question about it, that Monday is Muffin Monday. Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Like it's something that's just understood. And I really, really, really love Thursday because I throw all the leftovers <laughs> if I have and eat just into that soup and it's just the most amazing soup. Because Thursday is Soup Thursday. Um, now that it's cold and then when the summer comes, it'll be a cold pasta. 
Uh, my kids are color coordinated. Um, this really helps me. These are just simple IKEA sets. Um, IKEA sells, they make it really easy to organize. So I have, again, all my kids color coordinated and so they're organized by color. So I know this child gets this every single time and they don't have to worry. Um, so they have bowls, they have cups, they have plates, they have um, forks and spoons. And again, this is IKEA, very economic. Um, we're talking about less than $10 for the complete set for uh, I think maybe six or seven kids. I think that's how many that comes in a pack. I know there is orange and blue and green and pink and purple um, and maybe some more. So that's a really, like I said, good deal. Check out IKEA for that. They keep you, um, they even have some um, washcloths that are, that are white that have a color coordinated tab, but that's for another video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, that's something that just works for me. Um, keep snacks with you when you're on the go. Like if you have that um, to go pick up a child from a co-op or you have to do this or you have to do that, by you keeping the, the snacks with you, you're less likely to stop at a fast food and spend more than what you need to. Um, what you would spend on one meal at fast food is what you could spend for your entire family for the whole meal at home probably if you cook from scratch um, like we do. Speaking of, if you cook from scratch, um, you know, get your kids involved in that too. Like maybe if you have a bread maker, let them set the bread and make the bread in the morning and that could be a part of your signs and you can really incorporate this kitchen um, and cooking into homeschooling as well. And lastly, something that I personally do is I have assigned seating and chores. So my children sit in the same seat every single day. We're not fighting. I know some people may say, oh, Christy, you know, but you know what? What works for you works for you, and what works for me works for me. I'm trying to be me. I'm staying in my lane. I have found the system that works for me. I have went from <gasps> to smooth flowing most of the time, and I like that. And so I'm just sharing in case it will help. If you have one child, it's probably no need to do all this. If you have multiple kids, you can see the value in it, and you know that it works for you. They're not fighting over seats. They're not fighting over cups. They're not fighting over plates. They're not asking me, what are we eating today? They're not asking me, you know, they're just not doing that because they already know they're into a good rhythm when it comes um, to this meal time. So this is, you know, meal time and meal planning and meal prep here in um, my home school. And so hopefully these tips have been helpful for you. Please be sure to take to check out the other videos in this collaboration. The link is in the description box below. Um, thank you so much again, um, this life of ours for hosting this. And lastly, be sure to check my playlist. I have all types of homeschooling goodies, all type of DIY goodies, gardening goodies, um, encouragement for moms. I have. Um, vegan and plant-based recipes, grocery hauls, meal planning. I talk about all those things. So I have a lot of things here that may help you. I have tips for um, moms and parents. So my prayer is that something I've said today or something on my channel will be a blessing to you and a help to you. When I started um, with a large family and just a business and so many things, I didn't really have anybody to help me and kind of um, mentor me one-on-one. -on -one. And I started this channel to be the help that I needed um, before. And so it's my goal again that I can just encourage at least one of you and this video will be worth it. So thank you for watching and until next time, blessings.